Okay, this is going to start, this is uh, sped up four times the regular speed. So start with a countdown to uh, join the Stones waiting room. And you'll see some notes up on my machine that this particular laptop is running low on space. It's going to count down and then it's going to pause for actually a while while it decides to put me in the uh, in a line with over 2,000 people. I don't know if this is even worth watching in four time. So you see the little guy move. He's got 2,000 people in front of him, so he's moving pretty fast. These are... Uh, I think it's interesting to note what it says, why you're waiting. Due to high demand, you may experience an extended wait time. Once you reach the front, your page will automatically refresh and you may shop for tickets. And then it, it tells you why... To allow more fans to shop, each person may complete one purchase at a time. If you'd like to purchase additional tickets, please return to the queue for a new place in line. And then they actively encourage you to watch your screen. So you're staring at a screen, um, waiting for the status to change. And what we've seen here is, uh, so far, five minutes have passed. Let me go through close some browsers. Okay, so he seems to be moving along fairly breakneck speed. The purple and blue coloring on the timeline, I'm not sure what that means. There's not a uh, an indicator. Uh, it's probably just a design choice, most likely made to indicate to the user that there is some type of reward, you know, if, if they wait in this blue line, they're going towards this purple light. So blue with light on it would be um, a purple color. So you're going into the light. Now it's moving past the 2000 into the 1800. And then we'll watch it over the next few minutes, go to 1600. And get don't know if these people are real. We can also check uh, StubHub at the end of this recording and see how many of these quote unquote people were actually resellers. See how many of these tickets are actually online now. So the line's moving fairly fast since we got past the 2000 mark. We're into the less than a thousand now. And uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised what seems to what appears to be available once the screen opens. And again, if you watch the time here, 10, 11, 10, 12, they start to refresh your screen more frequently when you get into the hundreds. And um, they're, of course, refreshing this for you as well showing on this last updated okay we're down to one person in front of you a, a fun sound plays and we're immediately gonna start clicking on the pit our goal is to get four pit tickets um ultimately and not pay platinum price so we're gonna kill platinum and we show that we still have tickets for uh standard admission for two so we're going to add those to the cart and go to next. Um, just confirm those are standing room only. We get some kind of weird error on the website. Now this is going back to the VIP seating with the $749. And then 
take careful note, this will, uh, this is we're unable to process your request, please try again. So I'm gonna try again, same, same deal. Sit tight, we're securing your tickets. Sorry, another fan has beat you to these tickets. And again, sorry, another fan has beat you to the tickets. Let's see how many times, sorry, another fan has beat you to the tickets. We'll switch to the other side. Now, one interesting technique they use is they have a pit one and a pit two that are different tickets and actually for the majority of the sale maintain different ticket prices. So we've got the 49350 ticket price um, for the general admission price. And then we have the platinum official price, which eventually you'll see that all the tickets move to platinum. Uh, here's just a, me checking to see if I can get through it all with the rear general admission seats, which are uh, again, probably my recommended value seat for the show. It's a general admission area with um, standing room only. So uh, pretty cool like the pit, just not right there up on the stage like the pit. And again, there's a, a, a ticket difference. Sorry, another fan beat you to him. Sorry, another fan beat you to him. Um, but the price difference, I think the rear general admission seats are going for about $150. And they're reselling, last I looked, for about $200. So, uh, again, fair, fairly priced at face value or resale, $150 or $200. That's not bad. Uh, trying again to get uh, the pit tickets, looking at the different seating options, going back and forth between the pits. And noticing, okay, now they're showing no pit available. Reset, suddenly pit are available. Um, go back to just standard admission. Checking out some seats here. You'll see the only one in the royal blue color. The standard admission, those are 493 or $500. And then the, uh, the ones that are light, light colors are platinum seats, which are in the $800 to $1,000 range. So we refresh, we, we're getting back to standard admission seats. Um, I think those disappeared. Okay, so we've got standard admission again, sit tight, we're securing your, oh, sorry, another fan beat us to him. Sit tight, we're securing your ticket. Oh, sorry, another fan beat us to him. Sit tight, we're securing, oh, sorry, another fan beat you to him. Sit tight. Oh, those just disappeared before we've got a chance. Okay, we're back to platinum only on the pit two. And pit one is um, the $800 or the 750 package, which is like a fan club VIP kind of package. And I don't know what side Keith stands on. Uh, I would say they probably move around a lot, but I'm guessing they, they may not because uh, it's the Stones and they're the Rolling Stones. So uh, now we're back to the pit waiting for the uh, general admission seats to come back, which they will. Um, just going to keep kind of watching, resetting, going back into the pit. So it looks like at this point we've had probably, I don't know, uh, 20 option, twenty times where we've been able to put the tickets in our basket with no, no results. So again, this is showing pit two, pit one. These are general admission seating. So they're, they're, not, uh, they're not identified with a particular spot. Uh, now, Ticketmaster may have numerically assigned them spots. Okay, back to having general admission, going to standard admission seats on the pit. Sorry, another fan beat you to them. Sorry, another fan beat you to them. Okay, back to platinum and VIP only. So again, if you pay the platinum price for these seats, you are not getting any different experience than the individual who paid four ninety three fifty for the seats. What I'm doing here is kind of messing with the map. And what I'm noticing is the busier the site gets, again, okay, sit tight. We got, oh, no, 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 standard admission. Not going to happen. Sit tight, another fan beat you to him. Sit tight, another fan beat you to him. 
Sorry, 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 sorry. Sit tight, sorry. Sorry, sit tight. Okay, I accidentally put some VIP seats in there. Sorry, sit tight. And try again. This again, kind of fooling around with the map, seeing, you know, kind of between the resets and the refreshes on the screen. Okay, we're back to the the VIP packages and this is showing nothing. Okay, we add limited view and standard admission. We're back. We show no standard admission in the pit. Uh, this may or may not be the last time that the seats are available, that the uh, standard admission are available in the pit. And again, this is assuming they're actually available. This is uh, what it appears to me is that as Ticketmaster is watching the sales of these pit seats, they are uh, absorbing the tickets into, they're absorbing the standard admission tickets into platinum and VIP tickets to benefit both Ticketmaster as far as the fees goes and the Rolling Stones as far as the, uh, the ticket price before the fees goes. And again, of course, the, the price that they're showing for the tickets is uh, maybe 60, 70% of the actual price that you'll pay after you pay for delivery, service fee, website charge, uh, convenience fee, delivery. <coughs> this is, uh, okay, so no more. Get only a platinum. I'm gonna just kind of look around on the map. The map doesn't seem to be working on this machine. Um, back to 750 or 800 for the VIP or platinum. And then we've got a, uh, we get a, uh, on a reload, we get a CAPTCHA. And then on return from the CAPTCHA, We've got more standard admission seats, which is great. So we can hit next, sit tight. Sorry, another fan beat you to him. Sit tight. Sorry, another fan beat you to him. Sit tight. Sorry, another fan beat you to him. And these again, these are general admission seats. So there's no, uh, the concept of another fan beating you to a general admission, a particular general admission seat is preposterous. It's like a, online game of musical chairs where there's one chair per person. And what they're offering at this point is probably a thousand chairs on each side. And they're saying, okay, add these to your, to your cart and then sorry. So the psychological benefit of having these really great seats available at low prices is that you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm getting these. And you're getting a surge of adrenaline every time you click and you see that they've got, oh my gosh, this is a crazy good deal. Some people are paying $800 for these. Some people are paying $750 for these. I'm getting them for, uh, you know, $400 plus, plus fees. Uh, this is crazy. So you, you keep clicking, and then as you're clicking and refreshing, you're watching the other seats go. Again, we're just checking to see what other seats are going for. Uh, monitoring the ADA accessibility seats. Go back into the pit. But yeah, you, you're you excited because you see that these seats are obviously worth $800 to $750, but then you've got this opportunity to get them for less than five, which is a crazy good deal, um, especially since you know that there's, you know, obviously some some people out there that are willing to pay the $800 for them. And so the, uh, the gamification theory on this would be that th this has become a game, just like musical chairs or just like online gambling, where you're showing a, uh, you're showing something that's not actually available as if it were available, kind of like showing uh, a McDonald's commercial with the best case scenario of winning a million dollars in Monopoly, when really the best case scenario at McDonald's is 
you know, enjoying a Big Mac and some fries with a Coca-Cola Classic. So um, we're back to looking into the pit tickets for the opportunity to buy at this standard admission price. Now, why they're offering the same ticket, this is the exact same ticket, identical. There's no gift package. There's no lanyard. There's no VIP access. These are platinum seats. They resell for the same as the standard seats. They, uh, they are the same as the standard seats. The people that tear your tickets or quote-unquote tear your tickets, the people that scan your phone, they don't wink at you or smile at you any differently. They just... Uh... Let's see. I think we're done. Okay. Yeah, they just... The seats are the seats. So now it's showing that the pit is sold out, both sides, pit one and pit two. The whole pit one and pit two thing, oh, here we have, we have some, again, even though it was showing it sold out before. So, but, but, but now, like I said, these have been absorbed into Ticketmaster's Platinum program, and they're being sold um, for that $800 price instead of the standard admission price, which was the, I think, less than 400 So here's an interesting thing that happened. I tried to get uh, a couple of the semi-ambulatory ADA seats for me and my dad, and um, I clicked on one, I clicked the plus sign, made it into two, and, it, uh, and then when I moved on, it only showed one in the cart. And so then I go to the section and I look around and there's actually plenty of these uh, limited mobility seats available. So I don't know why it would limit me to two. So um, again, that's just back to pit two since pit one seems to have been sold out for a while. We're going to see. Now what's funny is I already have two ADA seats for me and my dad to this show. I was just going to try to improve our situation with the pit. Uh, I don't know if the pit's the best place for me and my dad, but uh, it seemed like good tickets. So, uh, But no luck. And uh, thank you, Ticketmaster. Thank you for an hour of my life. Uh, just coincidentally, right now, uh, as a consultant, I bill at two to $300 an hour for my time. And as you can see, I just spent uh, an hour uh, wasting time trying to buy these tickets. And they should have been mine after about five minutes at best. That would be, uh, I'm a Ticketmaster customer in good standing. I have uh, a good history, history with them. I have a uh, a card on file. So, uh, thanks a lot, Ticketmaster. And I'll be sending you a bill for, uh, for my time.